Today I'm going to run you through how I created this cartoon style water. It's super simple to build but the results look really nice and stylized. It's also really fun to just play around and see what different results you can achieve using the techniques we're going to run through today. So let's just get started. And I have my composition here already. This is just 1920 by 1080. And I'm going to start by creating a new solid. Doesn't matter what it's called, click OK. And in our effects and presets, I'm going to search for gradient ramp. And I'm going to drop this onto our layer, which I will just call background. And I want a sort of a light blue, sort of turquoise, flat start color. And then just a darker blue that second color. Just going to adjust that first color quickly, make that a bit lighter. Then I want to start the ramp to be in that top corner, so that would be 0 and 0. And then I want the bottom one to be in the bottom right corner, which will be 1920 by 1080, which is just the size of our composition. And there we have the main color of our water, so you can choose whatever colors you want. You can also come back and change these later. Next we're going to use our pen tool, so with no layer selected, so we are making a new shape layer. We're just going to start and draw some really random odd shapes. So there's one there. We do want these to be white, so if yours isn't white you can go up to the fill and make sure this is white. Click OK. And with this layer still selected, just so we are creating more shapes within the same layer, I'm just going to continue to make some more shapes. Again, you can come back and adjust these later on. But for now, let's just get quite a few shapes in here. Okay, I think that'll do for now. Again, you can come back and add more later or change the shape, but this is looking okay for now. And on this layer, I'm just going to press T to bring up our opacity. I'm going to drop this down to 10, just so they're barely visible, but they are still visible. Hopefully once this is rendered and you're viewing it, you can still see these. I might even drop that up to 15, just so you can see them a bit easier. And then again, in our effects and presets, we're going to search for turbulent displace. And here it is at the top. So let's drag it onto our shape layer one. And on the amount, we want this to be around 100. So let's start with 100 there. And on the size, also let's go with 100. Okay, let's play that through. And nothing's happening because what we need to do is keyframe the evolution. And rather than keyframe, what I'm going to do is hold Option or Alt and click on the stopwatch just to bring up our expression box. And I'm going to type in time times 25 and click off. Okay, so that's nice and subtle, which is just what we want for now. And what we're going to do on the same layer, we're going to click on the turbulent displace and we're going to duplicate. So we have two on the same layer. And this time we want the amount to be around 300 and the size to be a lot lower, so roughly 10. Let's see how that looks. And that'll give it a nice rough edge. Our second turbulent displace has um, copied across the expression from our first one. We will leave it the same for now, but we can go in and adjust that just by um, going down to our, our effects and our second turbulent displace. And we can find that expression in the evolution. And we can change this number, but we will leave that as 25, just like the first one for now. Let's just play this through, see how this is looking. And that's looking like a good start. And next, we're just going to click off this layer so there are none selected. Go back to our pen tool. And we're just going to draw some much more simple sort of circular blobs. And there'll be a lot less of them this time. So let's just create just a few. Sort of scattered reasonably evenly. But nothing too uniform about them. That should be fine. And again, we want a turbulent displace. So it's already here, so let's drag this onto our new layer. 
And this time we want our amount to be very high and this would be around 1,500. And we want our size to be around 15. And there we go. And on this layer, we do want to select it and press T to bring up our opacity. And we want this one to be on roughly 20. And there we go. Because we didn't copy our turbulent displacement from the previous one, there is no keyframe or expression on the evolution. So I'm just going to hold Option or Alt, click on a stopwatch, and type in time times, let's go for 100 this time. So it will be moving a lot faster than the previous one. Let's just play this through. There we go, that's our second layer all done. So we're gonna have one more layer. So again, let's click off. So we're not adding more shapes to our existing layers. Go back to our pen tool. And we're just going to draw a very simple straight line with a bit of a curve. This does have a fill. I'm just going to click the word fill. And I'm going to just turn off the fill. Click OK. Then let's ramp up our stroke to around 10. That's a rough bit more, let's go for 20. And what we're going to do is, with this layer selected, we're going to go down and we're going to add a repeater. Let's drop this down so we can go to our copies. Let's, let's do around 10 for now. Again, let's, let's open our transform repeater. And we just want to adjust the position just so they're nice and spread out roughly around there. So that's what minus 320. Let's move that across. We do want to move this down to here, just so we can see all of the, the repetitions. We're going to bring our time indicator or our playhead to the very beginning and click on our layer, press P for position, make a keyframe. And then let's go to the very end and then let's just move that down. Not too much. Just gonna play this through to see how fast they're moving. Yeah, okay, they're moving quite slow, but that's what we want. And that's okay. So again, we're gonna add a turbulent displace. So let's bring that onto our new layer right at the top. We want our amount to stay at 50 and our size, we want this to be a bit bigger, let's say 150, just so it's got a nice subtle bit of wave to it and it's not too uniform. Because it has this keyframe on the position, we don't need to keyframe the evolution. Just that downwards movement will add a bit of movement, bit of displacement to our lines. So let's just play this and see how it's looking. Yeah, okay, so we do need to drop down the opacity. So let's click on our layer and press T again, and let's bring this down to 20 as well. Let's bring that up slightly to 25. Okay, that's not too bad. What we can do is either add one more displace to this top layer, or what I did in our example was to add a adjustment layer and add another final displace to everything. So let's bring a turbulent displace onto this adjustment layer. You can just bring it onto your, your waves, your lines, but I'm just going to drop it onto this adjustment layer at the top so it affects everything. We want our amount to be around 300 and our size to be around, let's go with 10. See how that looks. And that looks nice to me. I'm just gonna play this through to see how it looks all together. And there we go, that is all there is to creating some cartoon water. Experiment with the turbulent displaces, put in different numbers for the amount and the size, even the evolution. The higher the number you put in that time expression, the faster it will move. You can be really creative and you can get some very different results from what we're seeing here just by putting in different numbers into the turbulent displaces. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.